All right. Hey YouTube, and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, uh, as I always say in my videos, I will tell you if I have a problem. Well, I have a problem. Uh, this is for an update on the temperature sensor. Now, I put it in correctly. It's working, I'm sure, fine. Well, actually, I don't know. It might not. It might be my problem. Uh, yet again, buying cheap parts off Amazon. But I could have this problem if I bought it from a parts store too, considering they're pretty much the same part. But beside that point, uh, so if you recall, I had all kinds of trouble trying to get the stupid clip off of the sensor. And uh, so now I went to drive it and let all the lights go out and things stop doing things. We got the car on here. I had to turn off the radio and stuff. That's why there's a little space in between there. But anyway, and you'll see the oil light. I'm going to start the car. Unfortunately, you still see the oil light. Um, and it does never go out. So therefore, the wiring, either I broke something in the wiring, the sensor is not working correctly, or all the above I don't know um, but regardless I'm gonna look under there and fix it I've checked the oil there's plenty of oil it does seem to have fixed at least most of the oil leak because we've been driving it for a while this way and uh, I haven't noticed uh, near the oil loss as I have before so I've been checking it um, and making sure also yet again there's no sounds it's not heating up it's not knocking it's not pinging it's not ticking there, there's there's no real problem with it other than that light, whatever is hooking the wires to the switch and the switch is just not telling the light to go out. Or another thing, you'll notice in this update, and I'll probably throw some of this in here, uh, I kind of went back and found other ways of doing it. So I thought I would go ahead and I started making kind of another video. And then when I went to drive it, this happened. So. I'm going to put it all together in a video here. So this is just a bit of an update, a uh, little bit easier way if you really want to uh, get to it. A um, couple things like that that's going on. But in the midst of doing that video, my daughter, as I was getting ready to put that on, um, put it back together, uh, my daughter came in the door and interrupted me. And I'm not sure if I actually even plugged it back in uh, after that video. So that's the first thing I'm going to check. See if I even have it plugged in. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that's the problem. Uh, I really don't want to try and replace this, another sensor. And I really don't want to be changing out the whole wiring harness for that part. So we shall see what happens. You will find out by the end of this video. We may be driving around with an oil light on. Who knows? Uh, at the very least, if I have to replace any of the two other things, I will be driving around with an oil light for a while, which I don't recommend. I'm doing a short update right here on the oil pressure sensor. Um, I'm doing some other stuff on my Jeep, so go check out those videos. And uh, part of that involved me taking the uh, radiator shroud and fan out of here, which was pretty simple. So I have a video on that all by itself. Next, right down through here, I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well, right there is that pressure switch. So, if you don't want to climb underneath your car, uh, you can get to it probably fairly easy from this side. So, just a little update there if you choose to uh, do a little bit more work on top and uh, don't want to be reaching around through the bottom there. Uh, this might actually be a little easier way to get to it, but take a little longer because you're pulling other things off. Anyhow, just thought I'd throw that out there for you. All right. Well, confession time, YouTube. Um, as you can see, I have gotten under here and uh, got to my oil pressure sensor. Um, I noticed it was still kind of leaking and I put my fingers up in there and it was still leaking there and quite honestly I don't know if this is a little stripped out or what but I was able to actually tighten it quite a bit more 
so I don't know if a little bit of gunk got on the threads or whatever but it was kind of hard but I was able to tighten it a whole bunch more so uh, it may need to go further than just snug because uh, I thought I had it snug and uh, it ended up tightening up quite a bit more so uh, there you go another little update for that and yes, I'm going from the bottom because it was too difficult to get to this red thing from the top from where I was. So, but now this might actually, nope, it's still going to be on the bottom. But anyway, we're going to take that and hook her back up and we will hopefully be on our way to test this out. And I'll, at the end of this video, you'll know if it worked out for me. Well, it's definitely not all the way plugged in, so... But I even I did put that orange thing in there and I'm thinking it I'm thinking it popped back off for some reason or when I put it on there I wasn't paying attention and couldn't get it past the orange thing. We'll see. Or it's just broken so much it's not gonna stay on. We shall see. Once again, I am going to try and fandangle that on there, get it up on there, try and get that orange clip to kind of clip around. There's two little two little bumps right there that that kind of clips around uh, looking at it closer and I'm hoping that orange clip will just be what holds this thing on and maybe I just didn't get it quite right so regardless I'm gonna try and put it on hopefully it'll stay on there at least for a while if the oil light comes on I'll pull over and take a look at things but uh, this will probably be my problem for a while we shall see once again, I'm going to fix it. We'll see if that fixes it for now. If I have a problem later on down the road, as you can see, I will come back and I will make a video about it. So let's turn the key and see if that light goes out. Make sure we're in park here. Ah, there you go. No oil light. So, yet again, if I have any problems down the road, you'll be the first, well, you'll be the second to know because, well, you'll be whoever in my family else I tell and then you. So, you know, what, fourth maybe to know? But regardless of that, you will know if I have a problem. Uh, thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and I am obviously master of none. You all have a good one.